In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense right now for Madden 23. It's going to help you stop ags. It's going to help you stop a lot of stuff um, in this game. So we're really excited to break this defense down. This is my base defense right now. If you can't beat this defense, I'll sit in this pretty much all game. Uh, also, guys, if you want to learn the rest of this defense, we are going to be releasing a massive update to a lot of our defensive ebooks due to the latest patch. So make sure that you are a Patreon member for just ten dollars. It'll get you access to all of our ebooks and all of my updates to those ebooks as well. Uh, we release new ebooks pretty much every week, or at least new updates every single week. And uh, so far in Madden 23. We've released 15 offensive and defensive ebooks, and we have our 16th ebook coming out later this week. So, um, if you want to get access to it, it's going to be a brand new defense. I'm actually really excited about as well. All right, so let's talk about stopping um, ag catches, and to do so, we're going to start with big nickel over G. We're going to work through this, um, and I want to show you why nickel over is still really good, but I also want to show you. Um, why split safety coverage, I think, is the way to go. Now, uh, big nickel over G, we're going to go to the play, cover to man. Uh, you might know this by now. I'm going to go ahead and set cover one as an audible. Uh, you might know this by now about bunch, uh, but with bunch uh, and the current meta of bunch, if I'm in shaded up man or even just cover one in general, um, my opponent can basically throw this quick throw wheel route, and if you freeform that and you get a good release, it's actually going to look a lot more difficult to stop than that. So the way that you stop that route um, is you basically either have to play cover two man or whatever coverage you're running, you need to shade underneath. So you'll see here, if I shade underneath, I can't throw that, I can't throw that wheel route, as you can see. Now the problem, however, is basically this. When I shade underneath, especially if I, um, you know, do some defense like this or trying to stop a C route on the left side and there's nobody in the middle of the field, my tight end will basically bomb that coverage every single time. As you see right there, he's able to get over the top. So we need a solution to be able to stop that. We also need a solution to be able to stop the ags, which means we need to have basically two defenders on the outside that can handle that so my solution essentially was this to come out and cover two man and then to outside third both of these outside safeties to their corresponding sides now you can do this out of big nickel over g stock you don't have to make any adjustments to the formation that's the default uh, format and what you'll see here is this will do a good job on everything except for one thing so you'll see right here c routes bagged corner routes bagged that route is the only route that they can throw. And I want to show you the actual animation that is causing uh, this some problems. Essentially what's happening and why Shaded Underneath Man is so bad is because of this locomotion feature that they put. Essentially when you shade down, he's going to like run down and then he's going to be so out leveraged over the top that he can't defend that. Okay. So that's the main problem. So you might say, okay, well, what's a fix for that? Well, you can shade over top, right, out of cover two man. The problem is we're back to kind of square one where they can throw this little quick throw wheel. So our main coverage is still getting cooked every single time with just basic stuff, right? We know zone's not the best this year either. So what are we to do, right? How do we defend this tight end? So I was taking around with it, and I found that if I just move this guy down and shade outside you don't have to even necessarily shade outside but if i shade outside now what you're going to see here is he's actually for the most part going to stay right with the defender up the field now obviously that's a one-on-one -on -one scenario if you see four streaks on the field as a user defender you might want to go to the guy in the middle of the field because that's where there's no safety help but that leads me to my next piece here and it's basically this um if we come out in nickel over there is a package called fs1 inside so you'll see here this is if you look at the bottom of the screen you're going to see it says nickel and then if you look down just a little bit at the bottom of the menu there it says packages we want to flick the right joystick one step to the left so it's going to give us the fs1 inside what that's going to do is it's going to put uh, it's going to sub some players in now you can go back through and manually sub in whoever you want wherever you want I, you know, go ahead and do that. Uh, and then what you're going to see here is we actually have two distinct options that we're going to go over. The first one is one robber press. And the second one, of course, is cover two man. 
Now, the one where I have a press I'm going to come back to in just a second, but I want to first start with cover two man. So what you're going to see here is we're going to pinch our defense, and if you look, my guy is going to stack right here. So now I have a plethora of different options in which I can do this. What I'm going to do on the right side is I'm going to outside third that player. However, another little cool trick that I found is I could go ahead and take that left side linebacker and man him up on the number one receiver and then put an outside third there. And guess what? This now looks just like Overstorm Brave, as you can see. We could show blitz with this defensive look, and you see it creates a really, really nice alignment. And the other thing that you're going to notice here is my tight end. I'm not going to be as out leveraged. And as you see there, I'm able to kind of at least be in the area. Now that could be a click on interception, especially with a faster uh, with a faster dude in that position. But another thing that I really have found to work really really well is shading this um, out shading this specific coverage outside. And the reason why is because I just noticed I get a much better locomotion from this player. As you see right there, he's right there. I just got to click on or get a catch tackle, um, you know, in that position. Obviously, again, I'm not using anybody on defense, so keep that in mind. Like, if I saw that route combination, you know, where they're going to do something like – this is a very popular route combination. If they do something like this right here, there's nothing for me to guard except for the streak, right? So I'm going to do a defense that looks kind of like this. And then if they were to run this play, I'm going to bail back. So this is going to give me double coverage on this tight end. So now we're free to be able to make a play. But the main thing is getting the guy to not get so burned over the top. Now, I want to move on to one Robert Press because the beauty of this first coverage is there's two different ways to run it. I could just put both safeties and outside thirds and then let it be that. If I want to show blitz with this, uh, with this look, I can. And you'll see it looks like this right here. Now, I still need to use with the running back. So what I like to do is actually man up the defensive tackle on the running back. I think that's one of the best little tips um, because running back routes really aren't, aren't that good against man coverage this year. So if you man him up with someone like that, that allows me now to be able to go help over the top on that play right there. Now, where we're going to bring this all home is with the cover one Robert Press. So one robber press is a different natural shade within the formation. In my personal opinion, it's actually the best. And we still get the same split safety feel that we're getting out of Overstorm Brave that we're getting out of Cover 2 Man. So I can still do the same thing where I bring this guy down, man him up on the number one, outside third that guy, and now we're basically in the same defense um, and you know we can man the DT up, right? And then if we want to, we can show blitz, back this guy off, um, you know, or whatever we want to do. Okay, so the main thing I want to show you about this is if you watch this tight end, you'll see that in one robber press, due to the different shade, the only thing they have a chance on is uh, agging me. And to be honest with you, um, the cover one, in my opinion, is the best ag. Um, like, it, it really doesn't give up ags that bad, okay, uh, from a man to man perspective, especially when you have these outside thirds. I don't know why that guy's being weird, but anyway, so you see here. Um, so what we might want to do in this coverage specifically uh, is something like this. Now, what I want to show you on the left side is we're going to go back to that snap throw to verticals. And what you'll see is because we're pressing out of a cover one robber, he's not going to get absolutely destroyed. Um, so, again, I'm going to one robber press. All we're doing is we're, we're pressing um, or pinching our defense. If you want to show blitz, you certainly can, but due to the fact that this is a split field coverage, the corner on the left side is going to play this vertical route or this wheel route significantly better. So you see here, like right there, it did kind of look like he was, you know, kind of getting glitched, but I'm just telling you from personal experience, um, if you use this cover one robber, maybe shade outside, for example, um, and, and like I said, I really think showing blitz really helps this defense, uh, but anyways, because it brings the safeties down like this. But, you know, anyway, you know, they're doing something like that. You know, you're at least there to make a tackle, okay? Um, and then at the right time, what you can do with this um, is you can actually, again, as you start to get them away from calling tight end streaks, now I can be in two men under, or I can just shade underneath out of cover one robber, and we're in a pretty good spot still, okay? We're in a pretty good spot still. So this is these two coverages right here are really, really, really good coverages. There you see them play it properly. And again, you're going to get a lot of that out of the cover one robber. Now, the beauty of this is you can go ahead 
and very simply run Overstorm Brave essentially. All you have you could even just put Overstorm Brave in your audibles if you wanted to. Um, you know, but you can just blitz your linebackers and then just man that dude up onto the tight end. So you might be in one robber, the same exact coverage, right? But you've created a different defense. Right, and now you're going to get a lock and level principle that's going to actually play this really well, and we're getting our significant heavy pressure from Overstorm. So, this little mini scheme right here is really effective. But the main thing I wanted to share with you, I got one little last piece to wrap this up. For those of you three down lineman fans, you can do this out of your formation as well. Dollar three two six. You're going to go to safeties package. And what you'll notice here, and this is a uh, cover two man, we're going to do this out of. Why I like this three man is because we can put a dude in the deep middle. So outside third, these safeties. And then what I like to do is this right side guy is always the guy. So we're going to put him in the deep blue. And then we're just going to basically use the running back. So you're obviously going to need to sub people in that you need to sub in. But the three down lineman rush is actually starting to be gaining some steam in combination with this coverage defense so use this three safety coverage if you will out of man i think it'll really take your man coverage to the next level um i also think that it's going to really help significantly with some of this quick snap throw stuff that we're getting a lot of right now uh from those people that are playing bunch or u-trips or using these wheel routes quick so anyways i think this is the best defense in the game right now mini scheme for you we're gonna be dropping a brand new defensive ebook in the patreon and we're gonna be updating some of the other stuff that we already have so if you want to get better at the game, make sure you're in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.